And it's also a personal story out of my own family. About 2003, Carlos, once again, as he's done year in and year out, was putting together a public event around Hungary, New Mexico. And in putting that together, he didn't just go to the usual folks who are part of such events year in and year out. As Carlos does, he reached out to some wider group to try to introduce this work to new people. And among those people he reached out to was my then, I think, 10-year-old daughter, Ella, and her friend, Kira, to speak publicly in front of this group, 10-year-old kids. And I believe this was the first time my daughter had ever spoken publicly outside of church and school. And it was transformative for these two girls. And that event and others that they were invited to do changed their sense of self as young women in this society, young girls at that time and now young women, changed their sense of the faith, changed their sense of what's possible in American democracy if one speaks and places a claim on the world around them in the name of, say, homeless folks or hungry folks. And so today, Kira and Ella are both extraordinarily active in the public arena, both around issues at the core of Catholic teaching in the world. Neither of them, at this stage in their journey, is able to fully embrace the Catholic faith, much to my sadness in many ways. And yet, I think it's a story of the way that in the spirit of the new evangelization that the Holy Father speaks of, that Archbishop speaks of, we as Catholics are called not only to address other Catholics, invite people into the faith, but also to evangelize the world and transform the structures of the world in light of Catholic teaching, which both these young women in their mid-twenties now are doing in extraordinarily important ways, I think, out there in the world. And that is the work that Carlos has done for 30 years in New Mexico. In his own humble kind of leadership, invite people into the work of justice, the work of faith that does justice in the world. So in the spirit of these comments, I would like to just add to Archbishop Wester's wise words around the Gospels and the message to see and to hear, the way the Gospel also calls us to act, the way that Carlos has spent 30 years in New Mexico inviting people to act on the Gospel. More officially, as Carlos Navarro has completed his second full term on the Bread of the World National Board of Directors, this is an appropriate time to recognize his leadership not only in Albuquerque and New Mexico, but also nationally and internationally. Carlos has made a difference in countless lives, not only saving the poor from starvation one at a time, but also attacking systemic causes of hunger, raising the advocates on behalf of hungry people. And he's done that all with humility, with grace, with focus and with God, and his own constant ready response to the call for social justice, social justice in the gospel in the world. He served as the Bread for the World State Coordinator since 1993, helping churches around New Mexico organize litter writing Sundays on anti-hunger and anti-poverty issues, on debt relief, development assistance, domestic nutrition programs like the Supplemental Nutrition Program, so-called WIC and SNAP. In all that work, advocacy, faith, and spirituality are central to Carlos's identity. In 2014, together with others of like mind, he built the Interfaith Hunger Coalition to help facilitate a response from New Mexico faith-based communities to our state's consistently poor ratings in terms of child hunger and overall food insecurity. Today, Carlos serves on the Social Concerns Ministry at St. John the 23rd Parish, and previously in that role at the Aquinas Human Center. You can read more, more about Carlos Navarro in your program, but together I'd like with all of you to please welcome Carlos and thank him for his extraordinary ministry over the years in this place.